Failing is never easy. Learning the right lessons from a failure can help set yourself up to succeed in the future. Look at Joe Kudla, the 45-year-old CEO and founder of Encinitas, California-based Viori, a fast-growing athletic apparel startup most recently valued at $4 billion. When Kudla launched Viori in 2014, he'd already tried and failed to get two other apparel brands off the ground. One was a contemporary women's apparel brand called Sammy Joe. The other was a t-shirt startup he'd also called Viori, the Finnish word for, mountain. In the back of your mind, you don't want to fail three times in a row, Kudla tells CNBC make it. To avoid a repeat collapse, Kudla studied his previous two attempts. He'd launched both as side hustles while working a full-time job as an accountant, first at Ernst & Young and later with San Diego-based staffing consulting firm Vaco. His biggest takeaway? Remove the safety net, quit your job and go all in. The lessons that I took from those early businesses was that for me to build an apparel brand, I wasn't going to be able to do it on the side, as a side hustle or out of the garage, Kudla says. I was going to have to jump in with two feet and become obsessed. Launching the current version of Viori as a side hustle wouldn't have worked for two reasons, he says. First, it would have been harder to convince investors to back him if they knew he wasn't devoting all of his focus to the company. Second, he knew from experience that he might want to throw in the towel and return to his full-time job if Viori struggled early on. As soon as things got hard, I would have said, it's not working, and just gone back to the easy path, Kudla says. So, aiming to build an activewear brand that could compete with the likes of Lululemon, Kudla quit his job at Vaco and raised $700,000 in a friends and family funding round to begin making and marketing Viori's first products. The company struggled intensely in its early days, almost running out of money in less than two years. But without an obvious fallback plan, Kudla felt he needed to double down and find a way for Viori to make money. His eventual solution, switching to an e-commerce sales strategy with lots of social media marketing, instead of selling clothes in gyms and yoga studios, worked, saving him from a third failure that would have left him without any income at all. Kudla's first two attempts helped him in another way, too. The CEO says he's always been drawn to the idea of designing and marketing clothing, but he had little to no experience in the field, contributing to those businesses' false starts. The startup failures essentially served as his design school, he says, they taught me so much. A couple has shared how they earn $15,000 a month for just two hours of work using the ultimate house flipping strategy that sees them living in a home while they renovate. Jamie and Sarah McCauley renovate distressed houses for a living, selling some of them for huge profits while renting out others. Jamie, 32, and Sarah, 33, also rake in extra cash from selling old furniture while sharing their nifty decor tips online. It's called the live-in flip strategy, Jamie told. The biggest reason we started flipping houses is because we couldn't afford anything else. It all began when Sarah and Jamie needed a place to live after university. They found a house in desperate need of repairs, paying just $48,000 for it at the time. The plan was to renovate the home and live in it for at least two years to avoid capital gain taxes. But the property is now worth $286,800, according to Zillow, and paved the way for their money-making success. The couple has so far bought, flipped and sold two homes they didn't live in, spending $210,000 on one before selling it for $292,000, Jamie says. They also rent out five units in West Michigan and have so far bought three distressed properties which they have renovated in order to live in themselves for a couple of years. Their most recently renovated house reportedly sold for $436,000 in February, earning them $149,260 in profit. And their In 2021, I accepted a job at Amazon as a resource manager for an annual salary of $124,000. I was 29, and it was the most money I'd ever been offered. I also started two side hustles earlier that year to bring in extra money. My husband Jay and I had just bought our first home, and I was due to have our first child in September 2021. The first side hustle was a YouTube channel where I shared money and career advice, and the other was a digital guide to help people boost their credit scores based on my personal experience paying off debt. Juggling those side hustles while working full-time and being a mom wasn't easy, but it paid off. 
from December 2021 to April 2022, I made a total of $176,590 in sales. That gave me the confidence to leave my Amazon job in May 2022 to work on my businesses. Jay later left his software engineering job to help me as well. Today, almost all of our income is passive. We earn an average of $40,000 a month, and I only work just two hours a day.